Hey, what's up YouTube? In this video, I'll be showing you how to make a caravan. Here are all of the materials that you will need to make it. Begin by placing a black concrete on the ground. Then extend it two rows towards you using smooth quartz slab. One, two, specifically the upper half of the black concrete. Place a black concrete on the end. Place smooth quartz slabs behind everything that we've just made. But also place three rows in front of everything that we've just made. One, two, three. Now we are going to place a door on the front right side of what we've just made. And in front of the door we want to place a smooth quartz block. Extend it across the width of the build. And also extend it backwards. Place an upside down smooth quartz stair on the end and extend it across the back of the build. Then place a row of smooth quartz block extending towards the door. Okay, so this is a bit of a tricky layer. We're going to place red terracotta on either side of the door. To the left of the terracotta, two glass pane, and then two red terracotta extending across backwards. Place two glass pane at the back of the caravan, and then proceed to place red terracotta everywhere else. Then we want to place smooth quartz stairs on the front and the back part of the caravan, like this, so extending across. Then place smooth quartz block extending between the ends of the two rows of the smooth quartz stairs. Place smooth quartz slabs above and inside of the hole of the caravan, like this, and then extend that across so there is even and level with the smooth quartz block that we have on the outside. And boom, there we have an egg on wheels. <laughs> Essentially, that's what it sort of looks like. So the next thing that we have to do is we have to kind of like make the ends of the canopy that we're going to be having. So we can have the caravan just like this. Of course, we'll want a car and, you know, if you want to have it without the car, you might want to add perhaps like a couple of oak fence here so that it looks as though that's supported or perhaps end rods or something like that. But the important part is that I want to turn this into like a camping caravan. So where the door is, I'm going to leave a gap of say four, like one, two, three, four, and then I want to place an oak fence. And then I'm going to leave a gap of three, one, two, three, extending towards back, oak fence. Extend these fence up probably by about two, because this will equal the height of the door that we have here. And then we have to meticulously place string in between the oak fence and the caravan, so not only between each other, but also between the caravan. And this will allow us to place carpet and form a canopy. And again, this is completely not needed. Like, if you just wanted to make the caravan, then that's absolutely no problem whatsoever. You know, just stop at the caravan. Uh, maybe even you want to make the car as well, and that's fine as well. But if you want to have it set up kind of like in a little campsite, then you're probably going to want to do this. Anyway, now that we've done that, we're going to put these materials away for a second, and what can we grab? We can grab the white carpet, the red carpet, polished black stone slab, anvil, or you might also like the... Uh, the grindstones for this, trip by hook, red wall, item frames, oak sign, and buttons. So, first of all, I'm just going to make the canopy. So, all, all I'm going to do is place strips of red carpet leading to the caravan, followed by strips of white carpet. Now, why am I using red and white? Number one, I like the colour combination. Number two, um, it fits the colour scheme of the caravan. So, if the caravan was, say, orange, I might use orange instead of red. So, you know, you're going to want to tailor things. Uh, the polished black stone slab is to basically, if we place it in between where I've placed these oak fence here, and then the idea is that I want to place a couple of anvils, or we'll try some grindstones later. This is to connect to a car, so I'm going to leave a car connected to the caravan. This is going to be a row of four red wool 
there is, and by the way, feel free to change the color of the car. This is the width of the caravan, so it doesn't look weird. And we're going to then extend the two middle walls forwards by five. One, two, three, four, five. And one, two, three, four, five. Extend the sides outwards, and then the middle two blocks outwards, leaving enough room for wheels. Um, we, let's, go, let's grab the black concrete. So black concrete is going to go in between all of the empty gaps. Red wool on top of the back pair of wheels, like this. And then we need the glass now, so that is, well, we're going to be using glass for glass. <laughs> um, we want to place a back window, place two rows of glass extending forwards from the wall and join them together in the middle. Red carpet on top of where the bonnet is. We're going to have item frames in the front two corners of the car and item frames extending out the back two corners of the car. Um, you can even place red carpet along the back where the, uh, where the boot is or the trunk. And we're going to use red carpet like this to fill in the roof. And I mean, this it, it's about as easy as it gets. There we go. Buttons can be used for the wheels of the car. And the wheels of the caravan as well. Like this. Perfect. You can see this is coming together really nicely. Um, in the back pair of item frames for the uh, car, I'm going to place some red wall. And I'm realizing that the oak signs here are going to be placed at the back of the caravan. So this would be a number plate or a license plate. Feel free to fill that in with something. Um, we are also going to use trip pie hooks for the door handles of the car. Again, very minor little detail, but makes a nice little difference. Let's throw away most of this. And we can use smooth quartz block for the two headlights. And something that we don't have on us, which is a shame, is ladders. And ladders will be used for the... Uh, the grill of the car and there's not really too much more to add to the car now i am going to i always like to give you options you might instead of anvils like grindstones a bit better because they do look I, I think that it looks a little bit better in my opinion can we even place instead of the black i, I do want a bit of variance i mean you could even place them instead of the black uh, blackstone slabs, but it again, it, it, that's going to be a little bit of personal preference, but I quite like how that looks a little bit better, so feel free to change that. And what else do we have? I mean, we've got to do the inside of the caravan as well, and that's, that's relatively easy to do. There's not too much going on, so we'll need, like, a, we'll need, number one, we need a step into the caravan, so I'm going to use polished under site stairs for this. Uh, we'll need a furnace, we'll need de detect rail, crafting table, chests, oak wood stairs, we'll need signs, we'll need a uh, an armor stand, even a lantern, and even more stuff as well. So uh, it's up to you what you want to use as a stair material. Polished down inside stairs contrasts against the oak wood that we have on the left and right. So inside here, I'm going to have a little oven in the corner. So that's a furnace, detect rail, and above it, a polished down inside stairs as an extractor fan. Crafting table to the left. Then I'm going to have an upside down oak wood stairs to the left of this. Oak sign in front of it. Lantern on top. And then a double chest up here, just for storage, looks like a cupboard. And then I'm going to have an armor stand, and of course you can fill that with armor. And I'm also going to have a red bed. And then, going to grab some red carpet, and I'm just going to place red carpet um, pretty much. I'm, I think um, I'll have kind of like a little checkered pattern like this. We can't place it here because of the sign, but that's fine because it kind of gives us a little bit of a texture. And there we go. I mean, that's that's pretty good. I'm quite happy with that. I mean, you could add a little bit of extra overhead space above here if you like, but I quite like it being a little bit more open here. I mean, if you wanted to, you could even have like, if we, I guess I... What could we use? Maybe like some upside down quartz stairs, something like this, maybe. Or maybe we can place this in the at the end and that kind of like shapes the caravan a little bit. I think that that looks a little bit better. That's not too bad. And we could even add another lantern up here or something if we wanted to, or even a chest. But anyway, I'm quite happy with that. Or uh, maybe like a, I keep saying I'm quite happy and then changing it, but something like that. Uh, or you could just leave it blank. I'm, I, I think that I'll just leave it blank. I, I'm very happy with that. So. There we go, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, that's pretty much the... Hello, boy. <laughs> that's pretty much the um, 
this is the build. I mean, there are a couple more things that we can kind of like just add to the outside to kind of like increase the immersion a little bit. So why don't I grab a couple more things and just give you a little example of how we can just blend this into the atmosphere a little. So the first thing that comes to mind is a couple of camping chairs. So this can be as simple as just a birchwood stair, scaffolding in front, lever gap, another stair, we can place a green carpet perhaps on the scaffolding and then we can place some birch trap doors on the sides of this. So just like a little uh, a camping table, a little, uh, a little camping set. Um, we can also alter the ground a little bit. So just so that it looks like we actually use this area, you know, more so around the stairs, more so around the camping chairs and stuff. Like the ground's going to want to look disturbed. Um... You know, kind of like this, it, it doesn't have to be like absolutely everywhere, but so it looks a little bit more disturbed and maybe even like near the car and such. And it makes sense if around where the car is, like where the wheels would be, it would make sense if uh, the ground was also disturbed. So it looked as though that the car is actually like drove up, like, you know, if, if that makes sense. Um, we can also add like stone pressure plates around the place. We can use things, I mean, we can actually use stone itself. You could even place like one underneath here. Um, and then th just little things like uh, buttons, candles, campfire, or jukebox, like it makes sense. Like if we had a little bit of music, maybe like a little jukebox just here so that we can, uh, so that music's going on. Um, a little campfire either like directly uh, like near here or maybe a little bit out. It makes sense if we had, I mean, if instead of, uh, I'm pretty sure you can place candles on t uh, scaffolding. So, I mean, we could have a couple of candles like just about the place as well if we wanted to, just about set myself on fire. And maybe even a couple of buttons. And it, j I mean, really what we're doing is we're just sort of like setting the scene a little bit and it just makes it a lot more cozy. And uh, I'm really happy with that and hopefully you guys are too. Mr. Wolf is. And that's it. I hope that you guys have enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and feel free to check out some of my other tutorials as well. Hopefully I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.